presentation on the Lifestyle Residual Torque Measurement System. We hope you'll spend the next few minutes with us to learn more about Lifestar, the revolutionary torque measurement product from ASI Datamite. The common practice of reading peak torque to assess residual torque is subject to operator error that can induce false high and false low readings as well as substantially higher variability than installed torque. The time between fastener motion and operator response is a key driver of variability when measuring peak torque. This is why assessing residual torque by measuring peak torque is subject to operator error that induces false high and false low readings as well as much higher variability than installed torque. LightStar wrenches, along with ASI Datamite data collectors and software, measure torque at angle using a solid state gyro in the torque wrench head. Gyro captures torque only when the fastener actually turns. The instrumentation and logic built into the data collector differentiates between wind up due to flex in the wrench, drive, socket, and workpiece, and actual fastener motion. This is true for well lubricated hard joints and for high static friction joints. This is true for soft joints and for wiggly armed operators. LightStar technology virtually eliminates operator error and significantly reduces variability. The solid state gyro senses angular displacement while the advanced firmware of the data collector captures residual torque at actual fastener motion. The LightStar solution includes the LightStar torque wrench, model 501 data collector, Transcend software, and ASI Datamite setup editor and analysis and reporting software. The LightStar torque wrench is constructed of reinforced aluminum alloy for optimum performance, lightweight, and a service life of up to 1 million cycles. The wrench's torque sensor is mounted directly on the turning axis to provide increased accuracy and insensitivity to points of load. The replaceable ergonomic handle is made of soft foam and the cable connector is designed to withstand 5,000 insertions. The wrench is available in multiple metric sizes ranging from 5 newton meters to 750 newton meters. The 501 data collector with torque option measures torque as qualified by detected angular rotation. ASI Datamite Transcend software lets you upload torque curve data from the 501 data collector to either a tab delimited file or to an Excel spreadsheet. All torque time and angular sampling values are then available for further analysis for troubleshooting or blueprinting a fastening system. Immediate technical support is also available by emailing the Excel file to ASI Datamite. The curve can be used to provide documentation of material failure. This curve shows loss of clamp force with additional rotation immediately after breakaway, which is clear documentation of joint collapse. In addition to Transcend, Setup Editor software can be used to configure and manage torque data collection setups and to upload collected data. The Setup Editor with RCSL can be used to transfer collected data directly into the database for further analysis and reporting using ASI Datamite analysis and reporting software. The analysis and reporting program offers a full range of charts and reports and report creation is simplified using built-in tools. The software is HTML compliant for use on both intranets and extranets for quick and easy reporting. Now we'll show you just how easy it is to collect torque data using the 501 data collector and LightStar torque wrench with angle option. Hi, I'm Frank Scove, Applications Engineer for Torque Systems at ASI Datamite. What we're going to do today is demonstrate how our new LightStar residual torque measurement system with angle function can eliminate false operator high and false operator low readings compared to when taking peak measurements. What I'm going to do first, since this is a multifunction device, I'm going to use this to set 
the torque on each of these four fasteners to a little bit over 30 newton meters. As I pull in the wrench, when I get to 30 newton meters, the green light in the wrench will come on and tell me it's time to stop. Now there's a little bit of human reaction time that lets me exceed that a little bit, but they're all a little bit over 30, maybe 33, 32 newton meters. Now what we're going to do is we're going to use a crow foot just to demonstrate we can actually use one to measure the residual torque on these four fasteners. The last two we're going to measure with the angle restart function, and the first two we're going to measure using the peak function. Actually, we're going to mismeasure them. We're going to demonstrate how if an operator releases a wrench before a fastener actually turns, we can get a false low reading, or if they have excessive follow-through, they can get a false high reading. Then we'll perform the same function on the next two fasteners, only using the angle restart measurement technology and show how that defeats the false readings. So we'll get on the first fastener, we'll apply pressure, and we'll let go before the fastener actually turns. We've got a false low reading of about 19 newton meters. The second fastener will say that my human reaction time is really, really, really bad. And if we give it too much follow through, we'll get a false high reading of about 50 newton meters. So now we'll go to the next fastener and we'll measure this with what we call angle restart, which only captures torque at the instant the fastener actually turns. And we'll give it about the same amount of overshoot but as you'll notice, the green light came on at the instant the fastener started to turn, so the amount of overshoot doesn't affect the reading. Then we got about 33 newton meters. On the last fastener, we'll apply pressure and let go. Apply pressure and let go. But we don't take a reading at all because there's no actual rotation of the fastener. So I have to actually move the fastener in order to take a reading. Now let's review the benefits of the LightStar system. First, LightStar technology virtually eliminates operator error and significantly reduces variability. False high readings caused by overshoot and low readings caused by early release are eliminated and labor time is no longer wasted chasing non-existent problems. Second, the LightStar system reduces your costs. A multicolored LED in the wrench head provides notification of measurement status at the instant fastener motion is detected. This lets the operator know that the measurement has been taken. Thus, you avoid costly recalls, comply with regulatory requirements, decrease errors, and increase the speed of measurement. Third, the LightStar system saves you time. Labor time is reduced because less time is needed to take the same number of measurements. Training time is reduced because accurate readings are no longer operator dependent. Anyone can take quality torque measurements with minimal training. Finally, the LightStar system helps you detect problems sooner. Because LightStar reduces variability, residual torque specification limits may be tighter. This means you will detect problems sooner and reduce costs that result from quarantined suspect lots, labor used to check suspect lots, and unnecessary product recalls. In summary, the LightStar system from ASI Datamite is simply the best way to measure residual torque. LightStar gives you the most reliable way to eliminate false readings, increase accuracy, and reduce variability to residual torque measurement. For more information on the LightStar system, visit asidatamite.com and click on the torque icon.